Hello everybody! Welcome to Stories by Shelley. Did you choose a new story? Oh, this looks lovely! It's called Fidgety Fish. And Fidgety Fish is written by Ruth Galloway. What do you think our story will be about? I see a bright yellow fish and he looks like he's very happy. Let's have a look. Ooh, I see lots of rocks and bubbles and a snail. And who is peekabooing over here? <laughs> Fidgety Fish by Ruth Galloway. Tedler was always fidgeting. He wriggled and squiggled and darted and giggled until his mom got fed up with him. Go outside! Go into the sea and swim till you're tired, but watch out for that big fish. So Tiddler swam out of his cave. Look at that, he's knocked over the plants. He needs to get rid of some energy. So his mum tells him to go and swim in the sea. <gasps> he dived! and flipped and leapt and dipped he sped faster than a rocket and glided gently like a swan letting the sea currents fan his fins but he still didn't feel tired little tiddler was very 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 busy hey, he had so much energy do you feel like that sometimes? There were lippets that clung. Look at the lippets along the rocks. A jellyfish <laughs> that stung. Tiddler swam towards a big red starfish. Can you spot the starfish, everybody? Where is the starfish? And is he happy or is he sad? butted it gently with his nose. Boing! The starfish just smiled. So Tiddler asked the clickety clackety crab to play. Clickety clackety, clickety clackety. But it just scuttled off into the seaweed. Tiddler came to a big dark cave. It looked much more exciting than his cave back home. <gasps> and Tiddler swam in. <gasps> oh, everybody, do you think that was a good idea? Was it a good idea to swim into this cave? Do you think this is a cave? Oh, it looks very dark to me. I hope, I hope Tiddler didn't go too far. Let's see. <gasps> Snap! Oh no, what happened? Oh dear, Tiddler, what happened? Tiddler was trapped inside the big fish. Wasn't that what his mother said to watch out for? Oh no, now he's inside the big fish's tummy. He trembled and shivered and shook and quivered. until the big fish's tummy began to feel very funny indeed. Look at all the bubbles. So the little Tiddler moving around is causing lots of bubbles. It rumbled and grumbled and turned and it tumbled. It fluttered and groaned and mumbled and moaned. Suddenly, the big fish did an enormous what did he do? What did he do? Burp! <laughs> the big fish did a giant burp. And... Whoosh! Out shot Tiddler. <gasps> he shot right out of the big fish's mouth. Ah! 
past the jellyfish and the clickety clackety crab who was hiding in the weeds past the starfish and straight through his own front door look at that he came all the way i hope you've used up all your energy said his mum But she would have to wait until morning to hear about his adventures because Tiddler was already fast asleep. I think I would be fast asleep too if I was stuck in a big fish's tummy. Don't you? What did you think of that story, everybody? Did you enjoy it? I hope so. Why don't you choose another one? See you again soon. Bye-bye.